So, uh, how's everything going? Fine. I mean, with, uh, with Sonny, what happened after I left? Nothing. So he doesn't know? No, of course not. You should go. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know you were going to be down here. Yeah. Well, this was kind of my spot almost two decades ago. <laughs> <laughs> you just like chocolate gelato. Why do you remember that? I don't remember everything. I should probably uh, stay in the past, though. Why are you staying in town? Uh, I don't know. It's Jason's idea for me to come here, so. Right. You know, I have uh, some current threats. Something's never changed, right? Excuse me. You should probably get going. It's yeah. not a real good idea to be out in the open like this. Yeah, I agree. First good day I've had in a uh, in a long time. That's uh, that's a lot of pressure to put on the shoulders of a bowl of gelato. I don't know. This gelato's pretty all time. <laughs> well, it was uh, it was my pleasure, and uh, man, any any time. Thanks. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna you're going. <laughs> I, I am supposed to be out in the hall. I know, but would you just mind just talking to me until I fall asleep? You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Why? I was calling your name all the way down the steps. You didn't hear me? Uh, uh just a uh, lot going on. Distracted. Mm. You, you and Lulu have a fight or something? What's the matter? No, no, Mom, we're fine. So what are you that. standing out here all alone looking like someone kicked your puppy? Uh, I wouldn't know what that would be like because you never got me a puppy. I begged you every day for two years and you got me a fish instead. Yeah, the fish that I had to flush down the toilet two weeks later because you forgot to feed it? That's not true. I fed it all the spinach you wanted me to eat. <laughs> when I was seven. <laughs> Too young for that much responsibility, I guess, but there was no telling you that. And now all these years later, you're still trying to shoulder everything on your own. Honey, when are you going to learn, huh? Look, I'm fine. Dante, I always know when you're lying, okay? So don't even bother. This is, reminds me of, like, a couple years ago, you were on some case or something. You were guarding somebody. You were acting just like this when it was all over, all, all brooding and quiet. And I knew something was wrong with you, but you wouldn't talk about it. You know, Mom, the, the one thing I've learned about the past is, uh, you're best to just leave it all behind. Well, uh, anyone with, uh, with a brain would have said no to this dare. What are you talking about? Always take a dare. Wow, that's a, that's a really passionate response. Yes. Ms. Barrett, you must, you must really like, like dares. I take all dares. They're fun. <laughs> Wow. Oh, they were fun, right up until the time I, uh, I crash-landed. You, you crash-landed? Were, were you hurt? Yeah, we, let me, I'll tell it in the order that it actually happened. Oh, I'm, so, like, I'm, so, life, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so riveted by your story, I just well, got I, overly excited. Clearly, I could tell. I well, anyway, so my, my cousin, Pete, he dared me to get on this bike with no brakes and fly down the Third Street Hill. And I actually was thinking about my future and wanting to play baseball. And I was like, well, I don't actually want to do that. But then this guy... Tommy Locatelli, he was a total jerk. He started going off about how all fucking Aries are, are cowards. It's not my family honor oh, was yeah, on the line, that's not right? Cool. Yeah. So I got on the bike and I flew down that hill, man. I was flying. You were scared. No, hell no. I loved it. I was laughing. Oh, you, yo, you don't get scared? Spirit, you have a visitor? Oh, you know what, Max? I don't feel like seeing anyone right now. Oh, she says it's important. Who is it? Lulu Spencer? Oh. Yeah. Hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. Do you have a minute? Yes. I do.
so I stayed on the bike right to the bottom of the hill, but I, I can't stop. So uh, I'm about to hit like the traffic on McKinley Avenue. Right, and then you're gonna, is this the part where you're gonna crash? Yeah, this, this, okay, this is the part where I'm Well, not good, crash. but well, no, it yeah. kind of hurt, but <laughs> so I, tried, I saw this vacant lot and I tried to jump the curb like a superstar and I missed it and I flew through the air, but this time without the bike, I landed in all this gravel. My, my left side of my body from my shoulder down to my knee was completely shredded up, bleeding oh, everywhere. I get yeah. home. My mother's freaking out. She thinks something crazy just happened to me. Poor mom. Poor mom. I'm the one who's bleeding, getting screamed at by her because she's all mad because I'm bleeding all over the couch. I know, but she I was had to mow so the lawn relieved that you for... were okay. Trust me. Anyway, that was a, that was a long time ago. Mm, thank God you didn't die riding your bike downhill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Because otherwise, you know... Who would talk me to sleep? <laughs> Hard to keep your eyes off. Her. 